Hello, Gemini, and welcome to my channel, Indigo Goddess 1111. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My name is Indigo, and I am going to be here bringing you your end of February love reading. I am sorry about the delay, but it's here now. <laughs> okay, so with that, we'll get started. Spirit and Angels, what messages do our Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus bring? need to hear for February 15th through the February 28th Oops. in regards to love. I need five cards for Gemini and five cards for the person that they are connected to. What does Gemini need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? Whoa. What do they need to know? Also, I've got a new camera, but I can't get it to record for more than 12 minutes at a time. It's a GoPro. So if anybody out there can help me, because I am, it's driving me nuts. I'm having to load like four videos for one sign. So if you guys know the solution to my problem, please, please, please write it in the comment section. <laughs> bottom of the deck is the six of pentacles so um, you're looking for something that brings you balance you feel like somebody else is getting the attention of the person you want causing you to have the ten of pentacles in reverse you are not happy even though you're putting in all the work look at all these pentacles here definitely a heavy earth sign energy um, you feel like it's out of balance, causing you to um, feel like they're taking your happy home, happy life away from you. You're putting in a lot of work, but at the end of the day, I see that you are moving on. You are going to move towards um, choosing yourself is what I'm getting. Okay, so that's your bottom of the deck. I'm going to clarify with the vice versa, I think, today. Um, these uh, cards have pictures on both sides so if I have any jumpers I always consider them uh, face down when they land on the table just so I can be consistent with how I read my cards with the vice versa deck I do not um, pick them up if they land on the ground or I mean I pick them up but I don't use them um, with other decks I do but not with this one just because I I don't want um, to get mixed up with how I uh, flip my cards. There it came out again though, the Eight of Cups. Can I get clarifying cards for whoever Gemini is dealing with? One for each, please. Whoa. Okay, five, exactly. I like when Spirit does that. Okay. Okay, so your bottom of the clarifying deck is um, the Hierophant, or the High Priest. And um, so it's con uh, concerning a committed relationship. Um, the Ten of Cups in reverse, or the backside. Um, this relationship's no longer uh, meeting your needs or wants. And anything you do with the sun, it is always um, backed by the universe. Ooh, maybe dealing with somebody who has got addictions or 
um, codependencies. Okay, so let's see here. Gemini. In the beginning of February, uh, you could have had a relationship ending um, with the Hierophant in reverse, clarified by the Fool. So a group of you started out a new journey in the beginning of February. Um, for another group of you, you will be, because this, this is a give and take on some time. I'm not sure... Um, I'm not sure if all of you have left yet. Um, when a, uh, where did my other deck go now? When, uh, now I've totally lost my train of thought. When a major arcana card comes out as my clarifying card, I always clarify with a third deck. Um, Okay, Spirit is saying for a large group of you, you just, you couldn't take it anymore. You had to walk away. Why is a fool here for Gemini? Clarifying the Hierophant in reverse. Oops. Eight of Wands. So yeah, communication came in and you are heading out. <laughs> Yep, causing you imbalance. You were um, you were heading out to be single here. You feel like you feel like they were depend like you gave and gave and gave, and they did not reciprocate in giving, and it got to be too much. Um, somebody came in with truth, a lot of truth. And they came in very quick because it is clarified by the Ace of Swords as well. So it brought these messages that are right here, brought in truth and clarity, and it made you decide you were going to walk out the door. With this, though, you have the Ace of Pentacles, so a new beginning, a fresh start. Um, could be with finances um, or just a gift from the universe. Why is this strength here clarifying the Ace of Whoa. The Ace of Pentacles, please. And thank you, Spirit. Why is the Strength card here? There we go. The Five of Cups. Yeah, so um, Spirit is saying that you will be getting a gift from the universe. Um, and it's going to take strength. But what this is is your twin flame. After you release this karmic partner, after you release this karmic, um, or learn these karmic lessons and heal from the hurt and get over this mourning phase that you are going to go through, the universe will be giving you a gift. Um, and for a lot of you, that is your twin flame. You are tired of being juggled. You feel out of balance. It's causing you pain and heartache. You're tired of being pulled in two places at once. And it is causing you to turn your back. You are no longer giving your your cup of love to this person. You have a choice. You had a choice to make, and with the swords in the uh, um in the reverse, we know now in the upright, it's a state of confusion between your two choices. When it is in reverse, the swords are in the ground. A choice must be made because you can only walk away with one sword. And your get or your choice is to walk away, walk towards a more divinely guided relationship. Your partner feels that they had been carrying the burden of your guys's relationship. They are no longer going to do that. Um, they it is being clarified by the Nine of Cups, so they are going to be single. Their wishes were to leave the relationship, and so be it. The Nine of Pentacles is in reverse here, which is also a singles card. And it's being clarified by the Six of Swords. So they are moving on is what it looks like. <laughs> They're not seeing something, though. They were bored in this relationship. They weren't seeing what was being offered to them. But they were not content with what was with the relationship between the two of you. So they, um, they are going to move forward 
in a different direction. Um, they have been defensive towards you a lot. And they are going to be sending you some fiery um, communication here. They're angry. I don't know if they're angry. They're angry because they thought you needed them. That was what that devil card was for. They thought you needed them to be happy. And you're showing them that you don't. It, their overall energy is the king of wands in reverse. So they're mad. They're pissed off. Um that you didn't accept their cup because the knight of cups in reverse is clarifying it. So they are mad, but they were showing you a love that was not real. Like if you see it in this card, um, coming out of the cup is a fish. It's not even love. They were trying to deceive you or fool you and they're pissed off that you're moving on. Any other messages, Spirit, for Gemini in the last two weeks of February? What do they need to know? Any more messages for Gemini? King of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, they had been cold to you anyways. They were giving you the cold shoulder, the silent treatment. Um, they were just an asshole, really. I'm sorry for those of you who take offense by that, but... And there's your strength card again, um, as well as your twin flame card. So cut this person out of your life. Um, heal from the damage that they had caused. And get ready because... There's that page of cups again. They are going to try to come back and offer you. But be careful because it's not what, what they are trying to portray it as. 